Welcome students. Today we are going to understand the topic data handling. This is a kind of revision notes. So now let's start with what is data. So data is a collection of raw facts and figures that gives us some information. For example, we have to collect the data of tribal people of Assam or Jharkhand. That means how many uh, men and how many women are there in the tribe. So if you want to calculate the number of population, so that is also kind of data. Recording data. Recording of data depends upon the requirement of data. Everybody has different ways of recorded. That means we can record data, we can write down data in different ways. If we have to compare the choice of people about certain movies, then we have to collect the data of the survey which tell us the choice of the people about those movies. For example, there are uh, different genres of movie. For example, some people like the horror, some people like romantic, some people like action thriller, etc. So now organization of data that means how do we organize the data so raw data is difficult to read basically it is difficult to read so we have to organize it in such a way to so that to so uh, in such a way so that we can use it in need that means whenever we require we can use it we can read it we, we can analyze it so organization of data help us in analyzing in reading and understanding the data so data can be organized in tabular form data is represented in the tabular form from using from using frequency table and the tally mark what is frequency table so basically if there is certain kind of data which is repeating itself for five times so for frequency for the, that particular data is five if it is repeating itself for 10 times so 10 is its frequency now what is tally mark we use uh, uh, for tally tally mark is a kind of representation of frequency basically in which we use vertical and diagonal lines so over here there is a representation of how, how we can write 1 to 10 in the tally mark. So over here we can clearly see up to 4 we can use 4 vertical tables and from 5th we need to draw one diagonal line also. Now what is pictograph? So if we talk about pictograph we represent the data with the pictures of object. Basically we are just drawing a picture of that object or, this, or kind of symbol for that object. Then it is called a pictograph. Picture may pictures make it easy to understand the data and answer the questions related to it to it by just seeing it. That means by just seeing it, we can understand. Over here, we can see that this small symbol of teddy bear is representing 10 toys. So Adam has 10 into 2, 20, Lily has 40, Sarah has 30, Susan has 50, and Sam has only 10 toys. Now, what is bar graph? So as pictograph is very time consuming process, so we can use another way of representing data. If we use the bars of same width, just we need to keep in mind the bars which we draw that is of same width. With equal spacing to represent the data in which the length of the bar represents the frequency is called bar graph or bar diagram. So over here what we can see that there are number of students in this uh, in this axis and there are different colors so over here what we can understand that five students like red color six students like blue color so you can see if you are going to compare between red color and pink color this this length of pink is more that means we can see it is the pink color is longer than red color so over here nine students like the pink color and five students like the red color now we have uh, some question the daily sale of mobile phone in wiki production is given below draw the bar graph to represent the data so where we over here we have the we have the one kind of given uh, uh, information in which uh, by which in which we have to just draw it now solution steps to make a bar graph draw two lines here's the process draw two lines one horizontal and one vertical in l shape mark days on the horizontal line and number of phones on the vertical line then take a suitable scale for the number of phones and mark on the vertical line let one unit be the 10 phones use the bars to use the bars of equal width and draw them with the frequency given at the same distance the height of the bars tell the sale of the mobile phone in the wiki production as we have already seen in the previous question over here in the color sections we can see it over here the the length of this bar the length of the, this bar represents the frequency of that data now 
here is the solution so i hope you have understood that what we have uh, what we have to study in the data handling in standard 6 so thank you all